It's Wednesday. I'm gonna show you what I eat. Starting off the day with prunes, about uh, five, seven hundred calories of prunes. I put away one of these a little earlier. Check this out. Blueberry cereal. Just blueberries and Datorade instead of milk. It's like 2,000 calories in there. See, my tongue is still blue from blueberries I had earlier. Look at that. Mm. That looks beautiful. Um, yeah, so there's what I ate. Let's take a look at this guy. So, huh, yeah, fair life milk, hilarious. They got all these fruits and vegetables, and it's like, you know, where, where does this processed garbage belong in this diet? You know, oh, right, it's animal protein. Got to have that for a balanced diet. Oh, okay, okay, so it's just a bunch of processed bullshit. They're, okay, never mind. It's nothing to do with health. Nothing to do with health at all. It's just about money. You know, oh, see, happy people, it's a product. These people don't think that perfectly fine doesn't make you a bad person just because you're ignorant. Is this guy ignorant? It's the guy that came up with this. So Fairlife Milk is Coca-Cola incorporated with uh, the dairy industry because dairy has been going down and Coke's been going down in stocks because people are waking up and, uh, you know, just starting to, like, eat fucking actual food that comes out of the ground. So, um... And so this guy, look at his friggin' look at this fat fuck. What an asshole. So there's plenty of bad veterinarians out there. But this Mike McCloskey guy, he he wins world's worst veterin veterinarian of the year, of the decade, for sure. So there's plenty of bad veterinarians out there. You know, um abusing animals. And <laughs> look at this. Thing. So Co-founder Mike McCloskey got his start as a veterinarian specializing in dairy cows. So, we know how important it is to put our cows' needs first. It's not really that funny. Um, since comfortable, healthy cows produce better quality milk, they reward us <laughs> with some of the best milk in the industry, which is not even milk because, uh, you know, it's got less sugar. So, you know, even lower carbs, even higher protein milk, more of that toxic animal protein that has been shown in the China study <laughs> uh, to, to basically cause cancer, you know, and soon that will be official fact, just like it is for red and processed meat. Soon milk will be classified as a carcinogen. I believe that if you're not preventing cancer with foods like these, with all these colorful, delicious, you know, just beautiful foods, man, real foods that come out of the ground. If, if you're not preventing cancer with those things, you're causing cancer with something else, guaranteed. So don't waste your diet, don't waste your time on this planet fucking around with bad habits and stuff. The life is way too short, man. And uh, just you don't have enough stomach space to fit in uh, all the nutrition you need, like all the awesome plant-based, like um, just crazy, like magical phytochemicals and stuff. You don't have enough space in your stomach to to get all that stuff that you need, as well as, um, you know, shitty animal products that just fill you up way too fast with empty, empty toxic calories. Look at that. Ugh. Gross. I, I would not be able to survive, you know? I feel so bad for these people, because this is what br brings people together these days. Just toxic. It's If it's not this junk, this the cancer causing junk food, then it's smoking weed or drinking alcohol. That's what brings people together. It's sad. It's sad. I wish I could just go out 
and find some, you know, I wish I could just walk across the street and hang out with a bunch of vegans, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cooking up, like, fruits and vegetables all day long. And, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. There's plenty of awesome people out there to hang out with. Um, but, yeah, what am I getting at? This dude just abuses animals. And he's a veterinarian. And so, like, it just people do not become veterinarians just because they love animals. I'd say maybe half, optimistically, half of the veterinarians out there <laughs> are vegan. <laughs> you know, we do not care about animals' needs at all, man. If you're eating them, it's just, you know, we're, we human beings, we're su such a destructive species, and, but, you know, that's just the way we operate. We, like, take control of the environment and stuff. And we're not very good at doing it in a non-destructive way yet. Um, we're pretty destructive. So if you're doing that and you're just killing animals as well, which is just even worse for the environment, um, man, what good are you? You're doing so, so much harm. Um, Milk can be even better than when we were kids, and that's what Fair Life does. Fair Life is a commitment and a promise. It is a commitment to environmentally responsible farming, to extraordinary animal care, to the highest quality of milk, to a traceability that goes from grass to glass. Great tasting nutrition. Everyone here believes in a better world where nutrition allows us to lead our lives full of energy and courage and beauty and vitality. As a vet, the animals have always come first. But our ultimate goal is to make products with great tasting nutrition made with simple ingredients. Having four kids myself, I approach everything as a mom. I know it's a challenge to feed your family good nutrition every day, let alone try to lead an active and healthy lifestyle for yourself. So I challenge Mike, if you could make for me, as a busy mom, something in a single serving where you could give me all of the protein, vitamins, minerals, and calcium that I need as a woman, all of the protein, vitamins, minerals, and calcium that I need as a woman, all of the protein, vitamins, minerals, and calcium that I need as a woman, and make it taste great, we would really have something. But in order to create products like this, we knew we were going to have to do dairy farming differently, better. And that was the beginning of Fair Life. Believing in better is a simple concept, but it really and truly drives everything that we do. Better dairy farming, better nutrition. I've always tried to make things better. Our ability to produce great tasting, nutritious, simple ingredient products starts with better farming and continues with innovation to produce a better milk. Come and visit us at Fair Oaks Farms in Indiana and see the Fair Life Promise in action. Please email me at sue at fairlife.com and let us know how we can make you and your family's lives better. All right, so you see Sue's email address. I'm sure I don't have to tell you. Go right on over there. Send Sue an email. Let's flood her inbox with respectful messages demanding that they stop torturing these animals, destroying the environment, say, tell them to plant some corn. You know, tell them, tell them to plant some rice. Tell them to plant some potatoes. Tell them to plant some fruit. Man, they got so much money. Maybe they could actually use all that fucking money they got to plant some fruit trees and make a long-term investment in the greater good. But they're not going to do that. Anyway, let's try. So email Sue. Be nice. And tell her why you think this product is terrible for people's health and for the environment. And, and at least make her stop lying about caring about the uh, welfare of these animals. You can see they're in cages. They're a bunch of single moms in cages and they don't know where their babies are. Because their babies are probably veal or they're just being raised for beef on some feedlot somewhere. It is not an ethical business. It is extremely unethical to people and to animals, but people first, you know, they're destroying people's health with this stuff. I mean, take, taking out the one part of the milk that's actually good for you, you know, <laughs> the sugar, the glucose, and keep people energized, and you know, oh, but you know, sugar's like, people just have no fucking clue, they have n <laughs> no 
reason why they they should eliminate sugar from their diet. The only reason is because they're told to, and they're told to because it, it, you don't don't get enough carbs. You don't think straight. Don't believe me? Carb the fuck up. You'll see. Peace.